instant we've chosen as Colin's defining daring drive is Finland 1992. It's a pretty um, challenging event for any young driver to go to. And so I had a talk to him in the rally before and said, now look here, this is about getting experience, being calm, they're very difficult roads, you've got to get the speed there, but use this year just to get some experience. So I was pretty annoyed to find out when I arrived in Helsinki or in Eveskula, before the start of the event, he'd already rolled the car, testing it. Even when they pushed it into scrutineering, they couldn't push on the body panels because the paint was still wet. So. They got it all straightened out. We started the rally, and then uh, on the first day of the rally, we had a fairly major accident, probably one of the biggest ones I've had, and got away with it. Um, so it ro rolled about seven times in through all the tree stumps, and it ended up on its wheels. And you know, you would normally you'd just have got out because you would have said the car was destroyed. The Subaru Legacy was fantastic. It didn't actually get too badly damaged, although there wasn't much straight. Um, it still drove very well and we hadn't damaged the engine or anything. And we just kept pushing and pushing until the inevitable happened and we went straight off and through, <laughs> through some trees and rolled it again. And by that time, I think even David Richards was seeing the funny side of it. I was getting more and more frustrated, more and more annoyed, because this just wasn't in the plan. But I suppose by the third day, I was there with a sledgehammer knocking out the dents and being part of the team. That was the, that was the sort of way and the character of Colin, the way that he actually got everybody around him to support him, whatever the situation. He brought the car back and it looked awful, but he still kept driving very good times and people in Finland uh, loved him, you know, in that uh, respect. I do remember at the finish, um, the local fans um, applauded Colin more than the winner did or you know, on that occasion. I was watching the rally that time and he uh, definitely stayed in, in my mind after that. It was really, everybody loved him after that rally. He was very faithful to his uh, reputation, which already at that time was, uh, was a driver who goes incredibly fast and then goes off the road so, uh, and then comes back if he comes back and, and that he actually survived those accidents on the Thousand Lakes and actually came back, I mean, it, it defies the, the belief. But that, that was his reputation, that was Colin. Colin won his first WRC rally in New Zealand the following year and then the title in 1995. Some say he would have won more championships if he'd been more conservative, but that was not Colin McRae. He was very clear on how a rally should be driven and stuck firmly to those beliefs. That's it for Top 10 Daring Drives. WRC history is packed with jaw-dropping feats of bravery and rest assured, there will be more to come. Watch the most spectacular moments from every rally. Get WRC Plus with all rally highlights now.